that shower is like two feet over from that window. I mean, the porch is two feet over from that window. All the ground is sloping. And the roof is dumping right there. That driveway sloping towards the grass and uh, from here over is still draining towards the house. So a lot of groundwater heads this way. We've had to, like, to, we broke records in rain this year. And uh, it's sloping towards the house here. Somebody tired it, try to keep water from coming in. Let's, we try to put a slope on that. system well should I dig on the inside or the outside to find out why the water was coming up out from under the shower running across the floor and then down into this drain that was when we had a really big rain and uh, they want to replace this floor so I wouldn't break it on the inside try to find the bleeder that goes to the outside of the footing it should be in the middle of the basement and that's right like right there That bleeder right here, right next to that toilet. Yeah. <laughs> 
tubes are known to uh, blow apart. If you have the old ones, you should change those. They break right where it connects in there. too hard when you're trying to push this off the floor because this thing breaks so you know, I can cut the heck out of you it's like a razor blade day before they used the wax ring. That's a plumber's place, hard as a rock. So it's all cemented real tight around there, I'm guessing, too. Maybe that's why the water wasn't coming up out of here. Tell us leaking out of here. This is all wet looking. That's a different issue, though. Okay, so the halfway point from this wall to that wall is uh, like 17 feet. It's right there behind the toilet. I 
pulled it. Oh, so there should be a bleeder right there for the storm system. I'm gonna try to open that up and, uh, and uh, clear it out. The water's coming up into the shower here. It's not the shower drain. When I looked in there, all that was dry. It was a huge rain though that came up from under there. Coming into the floor drain, so I'm gonna sharpen this uh, chipping bit here. I don't have to put too much stress on the hammer. That's a diamond, diamond blade. Should be right there if they put it in the center like, like they usually do they don't always though that's the problem that's right in this i don't know if it's actually going to be where it's supposed to be
standing right there. We're on the right track over here. There's water right there and it hasn't rained in, hasn't rained in like four days or so. You gotta separate the spit from the dirt. So that when you backfill it, you don't have a bunch of cement on your new pipe. Yeah, that's antique. That's been there a long time. Changing that one. See this little war right there. Plus, I've been hitting it a lot. <laughs> Maybe it's all rusty. Just get that cement out of there. See, there's the edge of the footing. It's pretty far. So a lot of times they'll be like right there. So I had to come way out and mess this stuff up if you're gonna put a shield all the way up to the wall. It's a lot more cement that you have to do if you planned on it only being that far out. There's a lot more cement work.
scrape this little bit off of here and put it in a bucket and then dig down and find that pipe and uh you know tunnel under there and you know make sure that drain tile is all cleared out and connected into this bleeder and it won't bubble up from under the shower anymore that little beauty right there the tight spaces Soupy. Oh yeah, I just wanted to tell you that that, that is what's doing it. What? That, uh, the inside system, not the, you know, I didn't know if it was going to be outside or inside. Uh -huh. I figured we should do the inside anyway first because you're getting a new floor to put in, but right. yeah, I got it open up and it's just soaking wet down there. Oh, so what does that mean? That means we're doing the right thing. I'm going to cut that out of there and snake it and all that and okay. flush it all out with water, put it back together a little bit better than it was. Okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, you should be here. All right. We'll be able to get put in. Can I uh, flush the toilet upstairs? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a different system. This is groundwater. It is, but I didn't know what, you know what's going on today, and I thought I was good or not until no. I checked. No, you're fine. I won't affect anything. Oh, okay. All right. I'm good. Good news. Yeah. Definitely. All This floor drain ties in it. I dug this up. That's in another video. I dug that up not too long ago. They just butted a, a piece of pipe into a Y and didn't even connect it. And it just filled up with mud. It took like 50 years. But and uh, yeah, so that runs uh, over to here where the uh, main thing outside runs to the storm sewer. This one's for the sanitary. That's the toilets and stuff. This one runs to a floor drain by a laundry room. And this one runs that floor drain. I just redid right here. Up it goes to the storm system. And uh, this one goes to the uh, sanitary. That's in the laundry room kitchen. That's commonly where they connect the sanitary floor drain and one on the storm. Well, they busted this up. Somebody else did put the shower in years ago. So yeah, I'm going to dig this out and sneak that out and flush it out and redo it a little different this time.
clean out right here. But that's our toilet. center of the bathroom here. Okay. Just put it together. Put it together with uh, clay pipe and see how full that is. Just got short little pieces. That's why it's not flowing. This is too bad. I can't do a T right here. I'm just gonna have to break it back. This is gonna need a clean out here. This is as far back as you can reach. And there's full of roots. snake in here and drain this down and then I'll uh, be able to work a little easier without all that water in here. Okay, so since the toilet's going to be sitting right here, I'm going to just bust back a spot back here so we can put it right here in front of the, well, the sink's going to go here. So it'll be like right next to the toilet. So I mean, they got to have it. Really good idea. And you see it's full. You should see the bottom of that pipe if it was working. Um, the water's all the way up to the top, so it's obviously jammed.
ini Till after I snake it though because a snake could beat that pipe up real bad so I'll snake it first and then cut it and on a nice clean cut I'll hook up the uh, clean out on there
to drift it in the water. Digging into something hard right now. It's trying to feed itself. clean out access for her. put that in come up with a tease and snake it both directions
ready to see you do that with a drum machine. See there's a big hole in the top of the pipe there. I'll just cut right there and put my well back a little further and put my clean up right there. Feet or so to get in the, the trap here. We'll see there's water in it. The small one doesn't have water, it's just a sanitary. It's where it's supposed to go. Side under the footing, and I'm going to run the machine backwards and it'll push all that slime and stuff downstream into that trap. And uh, I'll pull, it'll also rinse the roots off and stuff. I pull the roots out, and then uh, I'll uh, sink out that trap, make sure that's not going to be a problem. This uh, eel cable through a, a, a storm trap. I mean, this is a sanitary. There's no water in it, That's, so you can say that's sanitary. This has water in it. It's in Warren. So I just snaked out the underground line from over there to here, and I'm going to uh, snake that out because there's probably globs of roots got in there. But in Warren, you only have to go like this pipe connects to that one, like right here. So I got to go like half of it. I have a stick, a 10 foot stick. I'm just gonna put the whole stick in there. I have the water running over here. I back, I back snaked that trap and it shoots over this way. I, I dug that up and replaced that because that had collapsed. But uh, then this one here backed up. Water started coming out of the shower. And I put an access for that right here next to the toilet. Got water running through it now. But yeah, that line runs all the way over to here before it's like right here. And then that shoots across like that. So yeah, the snake went right through that one. It, it wouldn't go back into that. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm trying to go. You know, for the, the 
this thing has to be spinning. You gotta try to listen for that spinning down there. If that's not uh, spinning, it's gonna bind up. They have a tool that you use to hold this about that. But, uh, now that high, so you gotta bend over to use it. And uh, if that if this thing catches down there, that cable's gonna bind up real quick, and the machine's gonna slam towards you, and the cable's gonna flop and stuff. And if your head's down there, it can bash your head. That uh, this thing spins like 500 RPMs, and that cable's hard. So I'm just gonna keep it spinning. I'm gonna listen for it while it's spinning there, and then use it with my foot so my head's up out of the way. And if it binds up, I'll get my skull smashed. Forward would be good. I'm gonna get spinning first and then I'm gonna put some pressure on it with my foot. See, that's how it was. If I would have kept pushing on that motor, it would have bound up and slammed, raced at me, flopping the cable everywhere. This line originally is um, solid they seal it together and then there's a uh, branch offs here for uh, these pipes that are just butted together and they absorb the groundwater but those aren't in there what they did is they used this line as the weak tile line instead of sealing it and these are just butted together I just removed like three of them and put uh, put this in clay to PVC or it's clay pipe to PVC adapters. I didn't put bands on them or anything. I just put them all in this other loose. And uh, I'm not gonna seal that. I'm just gonna bury it in stone to stabilize it. And uh, that way uh, the water can seep into there instead of coming out from under the shower. Since I snaked it and everything it's uh you know not so open anyway but this will help it to the other adjustable strainer, that nice one won't fit in here, it's too high, so I gotta use one of these and a flush plug and like a plate. I'm gonna change this while I'm at it too. While I'm here, you can see it's uh, it's only a one inch uh, uh, cast iron flange, so I'll get a four by one. They got longer ones that go down like three and four inches even, so I'll just have to grab one of these. Reuse that lead. I use a chill so I don't break that. And I'll reuse that lead for a, a new one. They use toilet paper for oakum, <laughs> but yeah, I reuse that piece. And, uh, I think I actually have some oakum I can use instead of toilet paper. Yeah, the four by one will do it.
was the old lead that was in there. side because the floor is sloped real bad. We'll cut this down and it should settle better. 